Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Carrie. And we're excited to talk to you today about our summer as virus hunters in Sarawak, Malaysia. So aside from being virus hunter extraordinaires, Carrie and I are actually part of the One Health Research Lab here at Duke. One Health is the idea that animal, human, and environmental health are all intrinsically connected and that in order to achieve optimal health for all three parties, it is necessary to collaborate across these disciplines on both a local and global scale. Zoonotic diseases such as swine flu are diseases that spread between animals and humans, and they account for about 60% of all infectious diseases. They are a cause for concern, and rightfully so, as nearly three out of every four new infectious diseases are zoonotic in nature. The One Health approach has been embraced by many as the way forward and is needed in dealing with these increasingly complex public health problems that no one single discipline is really equipped to handle. We conducted our research in Sarawak, the eastern state in Malaysia, because Southeast Asia and Malaysia in particular has been identified as a hotspot, a hotspot for emerging respiratory uh, diseases because of its tropical climate and proximity between humans and animals. Dense populations of humans and domestic animals often live in close proximity, and certain regions have the additional risk factor of pathogen emergence from wild animals as well. Sarawak has recently skyrocketed in population, which is not good for their zoonotic disease situation because more people means increased transmission of disease and sustained zoonotic infections in the population. Novel pathogens have already emerged here, including a fifth species of human malaria. Surveillance in high-risk regions like Sarawak is imperative, but currently major gaps in surveillance still remain. We were fortunate enough to have a professional videographer document some of our research this summer, and we hope that this short clip helps you envision Sarawak and our experience. We're working with farmers and slaughterhouse workers and at the market doing bioaerosol sampling, human nasal wash sampling. We're looking for aerosolization of certain viruses. We walk around a market with the sampler on and that collects viruses in the air. A lot of people are very affable at this point in the um, project. Um, they wave hi. We've been given free water. Dr. Ha is talking to vendors of uh, chickens and ducks and asking if they'd be willing to do a nasal wash and complete a little survey for us so that we can do our studies. So the meat of our project was becoming best friends with these bioaerosol samplers designed by and on loan from NIOSH, a federal agency of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. These devices serve to collect virus particulates in the air that can later be identified using PCR, a powerful molecular technique that can amplify copies of DNA and RNA. The samplers can be used on tripods for stationary sampling as it is seen here on the right, or on backpacks for sampling around the market as it is seen here on the left. The NIOSH bioaerosol samplers provide a convenient and non-invasive way to monitor infectious diseases before they get out of hand. And this summer, we found that we were able to, to conduct an to implement and conduct aerosol sampling at open air live animal markets, pig farms, abattoirs, abattoirs being a very fancy word we like to use for slaughterhouse, and hospitals. We also conducted human nasal washes to determine if animal workers were harboring viruses from animals in their noses. This consists of squirting water into the participant's nose and collecting the outflow. I can assure you it does feel as strange as it sounds. We also assessed perceptions of cross-species infection among animal workers and determined what protective equipment they were already using using surveys. We conducted all of our molecular testing in a lab we built up from a spare room with the help of Hospital Cebu and Segi University. As you can see, this was not a small task. We found a range of viruses in the human nasal washes and also detected virus in the air of uh, hospitals, abattoirs, and farms. Thankfully, we did not detect any virus in the air of open air markets, but we suspect this is due to the high humidity during sample collection, as well as the significant airflow through the area. The surveys revealed that most animal workers 
feel that it is either likely or feel neutral that cross-species infections uh, will occur in Sarawak. This is good news because it suggests that these animal workers would be open to protective measures against zoonotic disease. Looking forward, we're excited to have another Bass Connections team continue and improve upon our research this summer. We hope to increase testing in abattoirs as it was a test site that had a great diversity of viruses. In addition, we hope to expand surveillance efforts to include schools and other potential high-risk settings. It is absolutely necessary that we continue surveillance for novel pathogens and detect outbreaks of known diseases. Our strongest gratitude to Bass Connections, Duke One Health, DGHI, Hospital Cebu, and Hospital Kapit for their continued support. Thank you.